She is a skinny legend. She is giving, you know, watch out, Mariah. <laughs> like, that is very skinny. Hey, cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have to talk about these brand new dolls that are taking paper dolls to the next level. So let's get into it. So yes, we're getting yet another new doll line. This one is called Style Bay, and they're made by Just Play. Now, these, the gimmick is, is that they are basically paper dolls, but just elevated and plastic. But yeah, so the gimmick is that they have removable fashion that's really like the main focus here it's the you know play aspect of mix and matching outfits and you know styling and so on but the hair the head is you know three-dimensional and it does have hair and their heads basically are like normal doll heads but their bodies are 2d they're literally flat like they're not paper but they are flat pieces of plastic and that's where you basically stick on these uh bunches uh these tons of like little uh you know outfit pieces that they come with apparently there's like over 800 something mix and match possibilities which is a ton so and because they're like just like little you know um layers of like um I'm not even sure like plastic or like like a thin papery material that's probably like durable to some extent like their stickers basically uh they they included a ton of options because it doesn't cost as much to produce because these are not actual fabrics fabric outfits uh so it does uh they they are able to you know include more options for a lower price point which you know they will retail apparently at around 19.99 in the us and they're coming out soon i don't know again these came out of nowhere their instagram account is fresh new it only has like two posts um and they only have a couple of followers as of right now their tiktok the same thing um so this is a, a really really exciting situation like these came out of nowhere um and yeah it just like where do we even now begin? Don't you know it? After I had discovered the Instagram account, I also saw Claudine and I's new Instagram post, and it was a PR unboxing of these dolls themselves. And they they even went live, and immediately I was like, "Screen record, let's go, girl, let's go, let's do this." Because <laughs> you know me, I'm always on. You know, I I see stuff like this, I, I screen record, I screenshots, so, because you know you never know when you might need it. And this was definitely like so new, fresh, out of nowhere. I I it was just like I. I was all over the place so here we're gonna see first the story clip uh and then we're gonna see the live uh from claudina nine's instagram um account yesterday sometime uh so again all credit goes to them and they were so iconic they were so funny i just i i, I wish i could show you all the whole live but um uh, essentially i just included the most important clips so roll the roll the clips <laughs> just got home to this at my door a completely unexpected surprise it looks like it's a new doll line by just play called style bay thinking of going live and opening one um but shout out to their pr team because this uh pr kit so cute really outsold the closet definitely gonna be yeah, i think the faces are super cute i am a little surprised because again like i've not heard anything of this i was just at sweet sweet in new york and i didn't see these um but then i go to my mailbox and i see this package and i i just thought it was really cute it's like a little closet so shout out to the marketing team marketing team needs a little raise because this is a cute little playset i will open up kiki i'm not open up dylan <laughs> this is kiki we need to change the lighting situation though so it's not giving what it need to do um so this is Kiki. It looks like there's reusable stickers and it says mix and match colors. And fashions that stick is their gimmick. It says fashions that stick. I mean, the outfit design is really cute. It is a paper doll body with a head. I don't know if the head has a peg or like, so sorry. But if anybody wants the UPC code, they can screenshot that lovely little UPC code and scan that at their local Target or Walmart and let us know. There's like a little instruction booklet. It comes with a doll stand um, and then the paper doll. So there is no body. It is just a doll head and a paper body. It's definitely a new concept. 
I have never seen anything like this, I will say that. Then there's a skirt in here. I don't know if this is just a fabric skirt or like a sticker. I love the paper doll vibe. I mean, it's, the heads are really cute. I just can't deny that. So this is a, it looks like it's a sticker. And I think you can peel the outfits off of here and put them on your doll. So this is what the doll looks like. Ooh, these heels are high. This is what the doll looks like without any, uh, anything on. It is very interesting. Again, like I've never seen anything like her. Wait, I mean her head, it is on a peg and it's like a circular peg. So hypothetically, and this is Saran, shout out to them for using Saran and long Saran. Um, and the face is really pretty. The face is really pretty. Hypothetically, you could put this on another doll, but let's find out because that's what we're here to do. We're here to play and test the play. And it comes with this like doll stand that she can be propped up on. It's not articulated, so you can't pose her. It's more just for the fun of changing her outfit. Okay, so it's literally just a sticker. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> Wait. It's literally just sticker clothing. So that's fun. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like without a body. It does, it doesn't, completely fit. It's a little wobbly wobbly wop, but kind of works. I'm not mad at that. It's giving like Bratz reboot kind of. She's missing a hand, so I'm just gonna put that behind. The neck is too short, I feel, but it does fit. This is her body. I must know. <laughs> This is what how skinny brats should be. This is what brats should give. This this girl right here, she's giving me Mr. Cats. The outfits are really cute. It is a shame that they are not fabric because I I mean I understand why because it's not the gimmick. But nope, they're just paper. They are stickers. Oh, uh, Dracula 101 says they're 19.99. What are all the names? We have Dylan, Harper, Kenzie, and Kiki. Ooh, okay, well, they're definitely not meant to go on any doll body, but Style Bay, because they are not sticking as well. Giving, like, Moschino runway. That's kind of what it's serving. I just know that PT Reviews would be dying laughing in her review of these. <laughs> well, subscribe to Peachy. I'm excited to see Peachy's thoughts. All right. <laughs> I can't, oh, I mean, I, I was literally laughing, cry laughing the entire time I was editing that. I was like, oh my God, there's just so many perfect moments. Like just to zoom in, just the, the vibe, the, 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 the doll herself, the thin body. I literally like, it gets me every time uh, seeing the brat's head on that body and then just like, and then I zoom in on her face, like just flinging around, like looking around, like, like what, like she's wondering, like, where am I? What am I, what, what is this? Is this purgatory? Like, am I, am I okay? <laughs> just the questionable, you know, like just questioning reality, like girl, just like me. <laughs> oh my God, I can't, this is the whole life. I, it's so funny. And then at the end, even Claudina, like, you know, like saying, like, mentioning me and I'm like, yes, like, I can't wait, like, girl, oh my god, I can't, <laughs> oh my god, okay, that was, um, so yeah, that was so funny, I can't, I'm sorry, maybe I'm just like, I have a broken sense of humor, I don't know, but like, just the, the, the doll disassembly, the decapitation, <laughs> and then the brat's head, and the thin body, and then like, this is what it's supposed to give, like, <laughs> It's, yeah, anyways. <laughs> but I mean, that just goes to show you yeah, that this succeeds as a toy. It 
fun it has play it has good value with the price point it's not too expensive there's accessories there's tons of things that are included here brushes accessories a stand uh, a little you know closet hanger like there's so much stuff included um and then you know obviously there's also like the fact itself that the doll just looks so funny uh, and you can remove her head and you can like just experiment with that alone like that's just so iconic that to me that that is just so funny and really it just it does its job i think it succeeds in you know being a good toy which i just i think it's a it's a good it's a good gimmick done well even if people maybe um are not like all in love with the paper doll gimmick uh me personally i grew up drawing uh my own paper dolls like i would tape uh like i would i would tape the doll uh you know and she's like i would draw her on paper i would tape the paper um and i would tape uh all of her different outfit pieces and then uh because they're kind of like sticky like that i would uh you know stick on some rever some reversible tape uh, on the back as well and then that's how i would you know place them on top of my makeshift you know paper doll like i grew up doing that i don't know if anyone else did that but i created my own paper dolls i wish i still had them i maybe i do somewhere but like i was obsessed with the idea of dressing up a doll with no big like no big like not having to work too hard to get the clothes on and off like the hair doesn't get messy like it the hair i draw the way i want the face i drew the way i want the body the clothes it's all the way i wanted to look like so um it was just my way and it was perfect that way you know i just so this definitely captures that nostalgia to me at least personally uh, of the paper doll gimmick and i think it elevates that gimmick even more with the real you know three-dimensional head with the hair the accessories the you know texture of the flocking the fur on some of the outfit pieces and then all of the accessories like to me that is definitely like elevated that is definitely good valued good play value um and uh, even if you're not into the actual gimmick itself like if you had a fun time watching that live like i did then i think they succeeded just doing that alone because a toy is supposed to provide entertainment and i think for kids this is gonna be amazing this is gonna be so good i, I hope so at least because i think the gimmick the idea is so niche like it's definitely not done often enough like this is the first time i've seen it done like this in like forever so like um, like this is yeah i i this is the first time and i really hope uh that they succeed because this is almost like with betty spaghetti you know like this is a kind of like niche doll line that you don't see often and i'm really i applaud them for doing something new because it's hard to stick out in the market today with new ideas themes gimmicks and not be like too um expensive and like how do you balance like the budget but also good quality and good play like there's so much you have to you know consider um so i definitely think c considering all of that right and how it could go wrong i love it i think it it gives it gives me personally joy it gives me entertainment i would love to have them <laughs> just think the, uh, the, the fun factor alone is enough but uh, for me again like i just love the actual styling aspect here as well like the outfit pieces are well designed like you can tell like the actual outfit pieces the design is there they look amazing and if they were actually made into doll clothing oh my gosh i mean th that, that would be stunning but of course some of the designs also it makes sense why they would not be able to be as easily easily translated into realistic doll fashions because they're just very you know complicated complex intricate designs and that's why i think it is just easier to have them you know printed uh, and just have them as stickers that just makes sense because it's two-dimensional these stickers the outfits are able to go over and beyond what we usually see with doll designs that's because you know again they're just stickers they don't have to you know worry about oh how is it going to translate to actual doll clothing because it never gets to that point all we see are basically designs sketches of outfits that again create cre creatively speaking go beyond what we usually see and i think it really does um add that factor of just create creativity imagination uh possibilities with mix and match play to these dolls i think it really does add um something that 
other dolls don't have even if the dolls themselves cannot be posed uh you know even their heads can't be tilted perhaps that will be fixed in later releases um but as is i think this is a really great gimmick um and done as well as i would have imagined it could be so i'm so happy this exists like i'm 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 on board like i'm here for it um i want to I, I need one <laughs> like, just give me one I'm obsessed, like literally, uh, I'm, paper dolls were my jam, like that's my childhood, okay? Uh, before Monster High ever, you know, became a thing for me, that was my thing, like drawing my own dolls. So this is right up my alley and this is just also the, this is also just enough weird, you know, it's like, it's weird. It's not beauty, it's not glam, it's not, you know, cutesy, it's it's weird, but it's good weird, you know, like, it sticks out, and you will for sure remember these dolls, that's the thing, that's good marketing, but okay, I'm getting carried away, what do you think of these new dolls, what do you think of this doll line, this gimmick, uh, the price point, which one's your favorite, are you intrigued, let me know your thoughts down below, leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and become a member today, so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way, daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses